Hey, I just got this magnetic drill press. Um, let me unbox it here. It's got all these... I'll show the accessories here in a minute, but I got this steel fire pit, and these circulation holes are trash. And the fire pit's always smoking out, so I need some circulation holes under it. So the first thing I'm going to use this on is just busting some holes in this metal, uh, some quarter-inch steel or something. I'll flip that bottom switch and turn the electromagnet on so that it sticks to the metal and stays positioned. And here we go. If I were going to cut any longer, I'd have put that drip tank on here just to keep the bit cool. But I'm doing some pretty quick cuts here and letting the bit cool down between cuts. So that's okay. But it does come with a nice drip reservoir I'll show here in a second. Pretty good smooth cut. The uh, bit's nice, didn't chip up or anything like that. Uh, it's actually, a, you can usually tell the quality of a bit, and these are pretty good hardened bits. Um, so I'll probably be using this quite a bit uh, instead of trying to find creative ways with other hole saws to cut holes in metal, which never seems to work out well. But also, this comes with a standard chuck. Here, let me show the accessories that came in the box real quick. Not that they're all unwrapped, but. It comes with a couple of these different bits. Uh, it comes with, of course, all the uh, Allen wrenches and stuff you need, but it comes with a couple of those hole saws. Uh, pretty nice hole saws. comes with an actual chuck you can put in there with the key for standard bits or anything else you want to fit in there, as well as a drip tank for oil for extended cutting and cooling. Nice drill.